Hey there, buddy. We were both. I've been away in Holland a few days. It's like my birthday. This is my first good job back. Anyways, deep blue sea. I was seeing this woman a long, long time. Is it still hold up? Is it better than George? Stay tuned. Find out. And here we go. Deep Blue Sea, Deep Blue Sea, what a fun film this is. I think I've seen this film at least 10 years or more, maybe longer. We enjoy this film. Really, really, it's, it's a fun, fun thing. Basically, a bunch of scientists trying to find a cure to Alzheimer's disease, spare some sharks, and the, the sharks become sh sh you know, smarter. I think like humans, they can land throughout his eyes to hunt the prey. Like, on to wood. And it's a lot of trouble for this underground steep, deep water facility. Run by Sarah Jackson. One of the scientists. Um, Bill Skarsgård and played by Stephen Bowles. And um, Shaq Hunter, played by... Uh, Thomas Jane, this is the first, this is the first really big role. I think mean, it's made him a star. And so you got and you got L. Cool J, who's a this facility chef. You got um, Michael Rappaport, as well as what engineers. It's got a really good, it's got a somber cast, really, really good cast as well. A lot of fun in this film. The sharks are really good, special effects of sharks. And um, yeah, I really enjoy this film. Like Stephen Boyle plays like in a way, she's like an anti-hero villain turned hero at the end. The ending got changed in the in the, in the film itself. You watch this film, spoiler alert. She dies. She sacrifices herself to uh, um, for Thomas Jane and Elle could just survive. And in, in the film, she's like a, like an obsessed scientist, mad scientist type. Pakistan type, she feels like she's you know doing all her favor, but make she pushes the boundaries by spurring and sharks, and making them smarter, making the, getting that dangerous for her body involved, and she has redemption at the end, and she like her sacrificing herself and saving, to help her save Thomas Jane and a little Joe life in the <laughs> in, in the process. So it's not a typical ending. The, the female lead usually in, in the ending. Usually one survivor, usually the main female and the main the male leader. The female leader and the male lead survive together. But this one, no. The two males, the male lead, Thomas Jane, for Al Cool J, which is a prize user because he uses a black guy. As I said, a black guy dies in a movie, especially in our movie. But don't do well in movies like these, especially horror movies. But surprise ending. Not not typical Hollywood happy ending. But well, it's a fun film. I like this. Deep Blue Sea. I recommend this. This still hold up today. George, mixed predators and aliens. This is. But two up for me. I really enjoyed this film. Thomas Jane, South and Bowers, Elf Family Jackson, Elko J, Michael Rappaport. Got a really good cast. I really enjoyed this film. The, 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 the death scene is brutal as well. You, you chop the, the heads and Arms get bitten apart bit by bit. It's the, the, the death scene is for a brutal. And 1999, so 25 years later, still fun. Fun flick. Definitely full price for me. Deep Blue Sea. I recommend it. If you love your shark film, you love your jaws, you know, the shallows, shark needle, this is what the one of the best. Monster movies, yeah, definitely. And I really enjoy this film. I recommend it. I love, love this film. The Netflix as well. You want to check it out for those who haven't seen it. Anyways, have a good night, guys. Bye now. Stay here. I'll be back.